Welcome back one and all to Football Therapy with me your host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well in difficult times. Of course the United Kingdom is on a lockdown so perfect time to stay in, stay safe, wash your hands and watch Football Therapy every single day because I'm going to continue giving you guys content to get you through while you're in your bed, on your sofa, on your computer chair, wherever you are. Chill out, I'm going to bring you consolidated news across the Chelsea world of football and let you know what at least the rags are saying and giving you my opinion on that. So that should be fun and today it's transfer stories as per usual or a lot of the time and there's four I want to talk about. So to make sure you are indeed strapped in for the foreseeable lock-in future, make sure you are subscribed to Football Therapy and hit the bell notifications icon so you do get updated when I upload. And if you want to support me, like the video, follow me on the socials and all that. Uh, let's get into it. So to give you a lowdown on what I'm talking about today, what's going around the headlines of football transfer world regarding Chelsea, in these four stories. Chelsea is apparently still prioritising Ben Chilwell even though they've opened negotiations for Alex Tellez from Porto. I'll tell you what I think about that situation. Interestingly, Olivier Giroud has actually rejected a contract extension from Chelsea when I thought he'd want to stay generally no matter what. Like if he was given 12 months Hey, I reckon he would have taken a six-month contract. He loves being in London. I think he likes being at Chelsea, but no, the contract has been rejected. Remember the Philippe Coutinho story? Well, that circled back around. I speculated, well, I spoke about a proposed loan deal, which kind of suited Chelsea in my opinion, but apparently he is to be offered to Chelsea for a transfer fee. Interesting. And you've all seen it. It's gone around the news the last sort of 24, 48 hours. The boy who was bred in the academy, and I think he left when he was about 14, Declan Rice has been touted for a Blues return, a return to Stamford Bridge for a lot of money. Oh, I'll be giving my thoughts on that as well. Let's start with Philippe Coutinho. The ex-Liverpool Brazilian went off to Barcelona to play with his homie Neymar, who then left or something like that. I can't remember the exact chronological... Chronologically, though? Chronologically. Chronology. Chronology. I'm back. Of that story, I think I forgot to mention him recently with like, you know, Griezmann and Uzuma and Dembele. Coutinho was another one of these like players to bring in to bolster the front line in the absence of Neymar. I know Coutinho is generally more of a sort of a central attacking midfielder than a forward, really. Still, hasn't really worked out with, for him at Barcelona. They're probably going to try and fund another move to get Neymar back. It's just an absolute basket case of a situation. And he's been heavily linked with a return to the Premier League, li notably Liverpool, as well as Chelsea. And although I spoke about in a previous video, which you should go check out, it's got Coutinho on the thumbnail. Although I've spoken about this before, I think actually a two-year loan deal, which was being proposed in a new story, would actually suit Chelsea for a lot of reasons. Apparently, Coutinho will be available for £77 million. That's nearly half of what he was sold for to Barcelona. Hmm. That's an incredible value decrease, and he is a very, very good player. Obviously a very good free kick taker. Can just absolutely whip a goal from, and he can sort of cut in, kind of, from like 30 yards out and score a goal when given space. Chelsea need players who can score goals from long distance. Frank Lampard will absolutely love that. I mean, he's relying on Ross Barkley to have a crack from long range most of the time. So if he's got someone like Philippe Coutinho doing it instead, he might feel like he's in safer hands. Now, I don't really know how to feel about the Coutinho story. 77 million isn't that much money compared to what he went for. I mean, if Chelsea, say, theoretically got him for 70 million, Maybe? If the story gets any more legs, I'll do a little bit more of a deep dive and give you guys like his stats and numbers for the last couple of seasons and talk about how that could work for Chelsea Football Club. But for the moment, let's put a pin in there and move on to the next story. Right, Nazar Kinsella of Goal.com has reported on Chelsea's desire to still secure Ben Chilwell for the left back position at Chelsea Football Club for next season. Now, I think a lot of us feel the same way. Certainly I feel Alex Tellez is probably the best option for Chelsea in terms of acquir acquiring a starting left back for next season. He's, I know he's like 28 or about to be 28 and uh, Chilwell's a lot younger, but he'll be half a third of the price of Ben Chilwell, Alex Tellez. 
and Ben Chilwell has not been in good form of late. When I say of late, the last time people were playing football in the Premier League, ever since winter, his form kind of dropped off a cliff. And we all remember how much Leicester charged Manchester United for Harry Maguire, who's good, but not amazing. World record fee for a centre-back, nearly $100 million. <sighs> they're going to want something similar for Ben Chilwell. I can kind of get the, you know, the perspective of Chilwell over Tellez in being he's a lot younger. He might be more in line with the long-term project and build of this Chelsea Football Club squad going forwards for the next 10 years, building a golden generation. Obviously, you can't really put Alex Tellez in this sort of golden generation theory. Do you know what I mean? Like long-term investment slash plan slash narrative, all that kind of gear. And while I do maintain Ben Chilwell is obviously talented, I feel like he's just going to be a rip-off and Tellez would probably be a better plug-and-play player. A lot of alliteration there. So you catch my drift with this. Loads of money. I mean, if somehow Chelsea, you know, get Chilwell for £50 million, pounds, I may even consider him to be a better option than Tellez, for my own opinion. But for £60, £70, £80 million, pounds, and Tellez could go for £25, £30 million, pounds, pff, you know, I want Chelsea to do well ASAP. So for me, I mean, regardless, Chelsea need left back, so one of them will be good, but we'll have to see what happens. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated regarding Ben Chilwell to Chelsea Football Club. Right, before we talk about Declan Rice and my opinions on that transfer story, let's talk about Olivier Giroud. Apparently, he has rejected a contract extension at Chelsea for 12 months. Now, in hindsight, I'm not surprised he got offered this contract extension because it looked like he was absolutely going to be released regardless but he came back into the team and he put in a couple of massive performances for Chelsea leading the line so Chelsea need that experience and seniority in the front line I think we all expected a 12-month contract extension to be offered but no more remember the guys pretty darn old was he 33 34 to be honest it was not a stretch but I think the contract extension is more of like a thank you than anything else but the thing is with Giroud we know he loves living in London with his wife and his kids his daughters or whatever so I thought if Chelsea offered him a contract extension, he'd, he'd take it and then perhaps when that expires, he'd go and finally go to the MLS like he spoke about recently. But no, apparently he's holding out for Antonio Conte's Inter Milan's contract. At Inter, he will get at least a two-year deal and you imagine maybe even a three-year deal. I know it's that sort of cliche of Syria giving older players longer contracts. But Conte really does love the centre forward and I can just see this happening. He's probably made up in his head that, you know what, no, I do want to go here because remember, terms were agreed with Inter in the January transfer window. It just didn't happen over the line. So he probably got sold a vision, an idea that he still wants to go and do and perhaps maybe two years at Chelsea could have shifted that but a 12-month extension will not be enough to cut it. He has rejected a Chelsea Football Club's offer. It looks like he'll be going to Italy in the summer. So, Declan Rice. <laughs> Across the newspapers, the last day or two, heavily, heavily linked with a return to Chelsea Football Club. Yes, I say return. Him and Mason Mount, best mates. Both had a sort of tragic Romeo and Juliet split at the age of 14, where he went to West Ham. I believe he was 14 then. But he's touted for a return for a sensational £75 million. Pounds. Another one of these players Chelsea let go and then want to bring back for loads of money except I and many people probably think Declan Rice is not worth it. No disrespect to the kid he's obviously had some superb performances for West Ham obviously he's a massive target of Manchester United to play that sort of DM role that modern day Premier League DM role a little bit more cultured on the ball obviously he's been starting for England uh, which is huge um, and I don't, I, I don't know, but this transfer makes no sense to me because in that particular role, Chelsea have the options of Jorginho, of course. Kovacic has played very, very good in that role as well as a lone pivot. And the uprising Billy Gilmore has looked absolutely magnificent in that role. Why would you bring in Declan Rice? <laughs> £75 million. Pounds. Okay, so let's just say for argument's sake, Jorginho is destined to go in the summer to Juventus. Let's just say Chelsea make a £5 million pound profit on him. Um, they think, all right, we've got Billy Gilmore there up and coming, Kovacic is playing there. 
let's bring in Declan Rice. Even with all that, I just think it's just way too much money. And again, this is one of those situations where I understand why West Ham would ask for that much money because of the transfer market's current climate, inflation. He's probably their most valuable player because he's an England international and he's a young Englishman uh, and he starts with him every time and all this kind of stuff. And he's so young, he's 21 years old. So I understand why he's that much money. You know, you've got Harry Maguire going for 80 million, 85 million. Declan Rice, it's going to be a similar kind of vibe. But the why, 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 why? Come on, Chelsea, it'll be thoroughly disappointing to have this money wasted on the likes of Declan Rice. Imagine if Chelsea, right, so imagine if Chelsea buy Ben Chilwell for 75 million and buy Declan Rice for 75 million. That's 150 million, okay? 150 million. Now, you can buy Alex Tellez for 30 million, so you've already got 120 left, and then you just don't replace anyone in the midfield, so you just get Tellez at left back, and there's 120 million that you're gonna spend anyway, just buy Jaden Sancho. Just play Benny Gilmore and Kovacic in that role. Go buy Jaden Sancho. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just seems like an astronomical waste of money, in my opinion. And that's what I feel about these Declan Rice rumours to Chelsea for 75 million pounds. Yeah, anyway, I want to get all your guys' thoughts and opinions of everything I've spoken about today. Philippe Coutinho, 77 million. What would you think about Coutinho coming to Chelsea? Do some of you still see the value in Ben Chilwell over Alex Tellez as a starting left back for Chelsea as a, a main target? Let me know your thoughts on that. Express yourselves on Giroud and Declan Rice, the big talking point. Get in the comment section below and express yourself on Declan Rice. If you've enjoyed the content today, I'll urge you guys to like the video and why not come and follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that's not happening, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.